You know, I was standing here with the size of truck and speak something with these many birds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We're on the Jagannath Rathiyatra tour coming back from Scandinavia. We're just uh, filling up the engine with oil and we're seeing this horrible sight which is, uh, makes the heart feel very bad. And what can, people are thinking, what can we do to stop this cruelty and this exploitation of the animals? So. Actually, this cruelty and exploitation is happening because of this age, Kali Yuga. People are moving from the mode of goodness, almost non-existent, down to the mode of passion, down to the mode of ignorance. In the mode of ignorance, uh, what do we care about being cruel to other things? What do we care? Nobody cares. We just care about our tongue, our greed, our lust, our anger. We're becoming like animals. And, uh, our spiritual master says that we'll have to suffer like this also. Human beings who do this to the creatures, poor creatures, they'll have to suffer a death like this, maybe many lifetimes, for all the chickens we've killed. So what's the solution? The solution is Krishna consciousness, is this vibration of the Maha Mantra. Because the more this is spread around, the more people awaken to their uh, <clears throat> natural spiritual consciousness come out of the mode of ignorance to the mode of passion to a mode of we can jump start to the mode of goodness by taking prasadam Krishna prasadam this is para he's in, in Paris he's feeding the 5,000 in Manchester in other, in other places we're Amsterdam. feeding Amsterdam we're distributing free prasadam mode in the mode in food in the mode of goodness to thousands of people and when they taste prasadam they come to the mode of goodness then they realize, wow, how could I eat meat? How could I do so much cruelty to living beings? So this chanting of the holy names is the only solution. Therefore, we have many centers all over the world now where we're distributing prasadam, we're chanting holy names, and uh, we're having festivals like this. Here's our van. We've traveled all over Scandinavia. We've been to uh, uh, Malmo. We've been to Copenhagen, Got Gothenburg. Oslo, Stockholm, with big festivals, pulling a chariot to take a picture of the, of the chariot, stick it in there. And uh, this way people are taking Puchanam, chanting the holy names, and they're becoming revolted by the ideas of these. Look how many chickens are going to be killed today. It's disgusting. It's horrible. They're all living beings, all these creatures, they're our brothers and sisters, actually, if you consider you know, what is it that makes me feel in this hand, in this nose, it's consciousness. So I am that consciousness. Consciousness is a symptom of my existence. So they're also feeling. When, when, when I pinch myself, if I pinch a chicken, it's also feeling. They also have their intelligence. Now, in fact, there are many stories about chickens. They do have intelligence. Birds have a, are very intelligent, that they, they can understand, especially, you know, and they have feelings for one another.